come here for? What did we come here for? What did we come here for? What did we come here for? Okay, hello. So this video today um, is my Friday video, which is usually going usually a um, product review or something along those lines. But I'm doing a video today that was by request. There's actually been quite a few requests about how to roll hair. And I think I just took it for granted that my videos, um, my unspoken like my text tutorials that are kind of sped up, they actually show me rolling my hair in several of them, actually quite a few of them. But I think a lot of people who are absolute novices who've never used a roller before are still confused as to the process. Um, and I just kind of rush through it in those videos, a lot of times editing out big sections of the rolling process. So I thought I would go ahead and just show you and make a quick video showing you how to roll hair. <laughs> and I'm gonna use several different types of rollers um, and kind of let you know again, like my roll with me video, I'm gonna kind of let you know again what the pros and cons of that particular type of roller are and uh, what you would use to prep the hair. So anyway, my hair is very long. Rollers are not my friend right now. Um, if I roll with a heated set, it just falls out by the end of the day. Uh, it's really hard for me to keep a heated set um, in my hair. A uh, cold set works much better, but it takes forever to dry because my hair is very, very long right now. And I'm growing it out principally so I can do specific types of hairstyles um, for a little while, but I'm not gonna keep it this long. This is too long for retro styles, um, especially if you have thin, fine hair, uh, or for many different types. It's not nearly as versatile as shorter hair, which makes, you know, a lot of people think that's probably odd, but it really isn't nearly as versatile. So I don't love it. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first roller I'm gonna show you how to use is a hot stick. Um, these are not heated, so I'm just showing you the rolling process. Uh, I use these quite often. And the reason is because it provides kind of the same appearance, especially if you have shorter hair than this, provides the same type of appearance as a um, sponge roller, but it's the only heated set that is good for authentic retro looks, I think. So the way that you would go about rolling your hair with a hot stick, and I have pinned my bangs back out of the way, I'm gonna to try to just roll on this section here. The way that you would roll with a hot stick is you would use a comb or your fingers to separate a portion of hair. And when I say a portion of hair, it, I usually mean about a swatch, about maybe an inch wide. If you have really thick hair, you're gonna to wanna to go even smaller than this, but my hair is very fine. So um, about that much it kind of tapers down. And then I prep it with a heated, with my Tresemme heat tamer spray, which as you know is my favorite because it kind of does a, um, you know, it has a water base to it. So I prep the hair with that. Um, a lot of people will say that you can spray your hair all over with that first. I personally just don't get as good of results. Then you take the hair and you wrap it around the roller, starting in the middle. You don't want the very end of your hair to rest against the heated portion, the actual roller, because if you do that, you're going to end up damaging the ends of your hair, which are the most damaged parts anyway. So you want to keep the least damage or the most damage to the middle of the hair. Then you roll it all the way up to the scalp, or if you're going for a more retro look, you just roll it to ear level, and I'll show you that in a second and you slip the end through that loop that's at the circle at the end, pull it through, and there's your hot stick. Okay, so the next type of roller, and you can see it holds really well. Uh, now these, as you know, have a tendency to pop open, especially the smaller size hot sticks. So if you're worried about it popping open, just take a pin curl clip, or a double pronged clip and place it directly above the joint. And that'll prevent it from opening up. So that's hot stick. Second option for heated set would be hot rollers. I'm gonna roll with a small roller today, but it's the same process for a, a medium sized roller. And you're just gonna take another small section. You know your hair, so if you need to take smaller sections or larger sections, you can do that. 
Some people have such fine, thin hair that they can roll big chunks of their hair and they'll still get great results. Okay, so you're going to spray it down. Okay, the spraying, it will actually make the hair more malleable, make it easier to, um, to form and shape around the roller. And then you take the roller. Now these are plugged in, so they're a bit hot. You take the roller, you put it in the middle of the hair, wrap around, hold it in tight where the end is, and then finish rolling in. And in this case, you can use either a pin or a clip. I'm just going to use a claw clip. They hold really well. So that's a hot roller. And you'll see the setting patterns and things like that in my videos. Now, heated sets, you can roll them in a bit tighter than the uh, colder sets, because if you use a colder set, a lot of times it'll really, really kink up the hair. So you don't want to roll it all the way to the crown like this. A lot of times you'll want to keep those around ear level. And that means keeping the crown completely flat, especially for retro looks. Okay, so, you know, use your discretion on that, and that will depend on the style that you're doing. Okay? Now, um, another great, another set, another roller that I've been using lately is a perming rod. These are great. They're a bit longer than your typical roller, so you can put more hair on them, wider swatches of hair. Um, and also, because they're hard plastic, the hair, the, the roll, the curl will, will stay formed better than it will on a soft roller. Now, the problem with these is that they're not as comfortable to sleep in, and they're a bit slippery. Um, so you would probably want to spray your hair with a, uh, like a setting lotion solution or just straight water. So I'm going to... I'm going to use a kind of a large section. I'm going to use this whole section on that roller. Now you see my hair has in, has uh, layers. You can uh, tame these layers with end papers if you want. Like those, those papers that you get, you basically just wrap it around the ends and that will kind of keep those layers tamed, but I have a technique for that as well. Okay, so I've sprayed my hair damp and I'm keeping most of the moisture on the end, starting in the middle rolling in all the way up okay and then you just take this little elastic piece of elastic cork like thing and you slip it in the hole at the end and that's a perming rod um, now with perming rods when you unsnap this there's a lot of tension behind it they'll snap you in the fingers it hurts <laughs> You have to get used to them. But you see how that um, I rolled a larger section. When you roll a larger section like this, it's going to prevent you from being able to roll it all the way to the scalp, except for at this bottom part here. That's a good thing. You want to keep the rollers around your ear level. And these are not impossible to sleep in as long as you are keeping in mind that they are. Um, going to be around here because then you can sleep on this portion of your head if you put if you place your pillows right or you can put it on the back um you can or you'll have a you know a good support for around your neck it's they're really not bad to sleep in but they are really good for an, a daytime setting okay your next type of roller is a sponge roller or a foam roller and this there's a trick to foam, foam rollers I have always just taken it for granted that most people know this, but if you do not tightly wind your hair so that it cinches the roller in the middle, um, it is possible for the curl to be crushed when it comes out. I didn't know this until fairly recently because it just never occurred to me not to wind the hair tightly around the roller, but a lot of people are afraid of getting too tight of curls, so they will wind the hair really, really loosely, like just barely placing the roll like that, just barely. And when you do that, when you sleep on them, your curls can flatten. So you're going to have to use the sponge to your advantage and actually wrap it tightly around. So you spray it with water or setting lotion solution. Start in the middle again and wind tightly around that center so that it cinches the roller in the middle. If you use the larger sized rollers, what's happening with this 
even though it looks like, oh my gosh, you're going to get the tightest curl ever. You're actually not. What you're going to get is you're going to get a curl that is harnessed by the foam roller. And then you flip the little plastic end like that. See that? And you just snap it into place just like it was when it came in the box. And you know, see how loose and floppy that is? That's fine. It should be flat on the top, no volume on the top, and all the curls should be down around the bottom. That's going to give you a retro look. That's why sponge foam rollers are so great because they're comfortable to sleep in and they also can be, you know, if you want really, really tight, tight, tight granny curls all over your head, then roll them all the way to the scalp, roll them like down the center of your head, that kind of thing. But you really don't have to do that. You just keep them loose. They're supposed to be like that. It's fine. Okay, second of all, or lastly, I'm going to show you a pillow roller. These are also called soft rollers, depending on where you're from. And you use the same type of thing, water, setting lotion. Now, you can also just use a setting spray, like a hairspray. That also works. Um, it just doesn't, to me, give me this longevity of um, using regular water. Okay, so you're going to place it in the middle, wrap around the ends. If pieces start to pop out, just kind of roll them, kind of, you know, roll them as you roll them, as you're rolling in. Roll them in as you go. Okay, so you roll it, and then you simply twist the end together. So that's how to roll. Super simple, I don't know how long this video was, but anyway, remember, you can roll tighter and closer to the scalp with heated sets because the curl doesn't take quite as strongly. With cold sets, keep the curl around ear level. Um, you know, there are different setting patterns. It really depends on the style. But as a rule, if you're just doing a basic setting and you're just doing a, you know, a hurried setting, you can keep the curls, the curlers around ear level and that will prevent you from getting super kinky hair. Also keep in mind that it's all in the brushing out. If you have a really, really curly set, because your hair already has some natural curl in it and you're brushing and brushing and brushing and it just doesn't seem like the curl, it seems more like frizz. Remember, it's all in the brushing out. Just keep brushing. Most of the time that frizz will go away and you will end up with very, very nice retro waves. Even if your hair is super, super curly after you take the rollers out immediately. It will relax a lot over, the, over time and I still think a cold set is your best retro setting. So that's all and y'all have a good day. What did we come here for? 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 Uh oh.